what's going on guys welcome back it is a beautiful day out here and I'm just trying to enjoy as much Sun as I can and I was thinking over the last couple years I've been absolutely bombarded with question questions about swimming as it pertains to prepping for buds or just special forces in general so I thought since it's such a nice day I'm actually going to show you these things we're going to talk about being more streamlined underwater we're going to go over the breaststroke the underwater swim and the combat side stroke I'm gonna break these strokes up into two categories in upper body movement lower body movement then we're gonna mold them together and you're actually going to get to see it underwater let's hit the pool all right guys the first thing we're gonna talk about is just pushing off the wall and being streamlined okay obviously we want the body to be as straight as possible if I'm like this in the water we're going to create a lot of restriction and this is something we don't want okay so the idea is to overlap your hands as we push off the wall and as you can see there's a lot of space between my head and my biceps this is going to cause a lot of restrictions and we want to remove that so we're going to go from here we're going to push the elbows in and cause the biceps to press up against the head all right guys so now i'm going to go underwater i'm going to push off the wall and we're just going to focus on being streamlined remember keep your hands overlapped push the biceps up against the ears keep your head tucked in between the biceps and keep your legs straight as possible okay So with the restrictions I have as far as the shorts and what are whatever other factors that may come into play, my body type, even your hair, that's why swimmers wear the swimmers caps. This is when my momentum stops. Okay, this is when I really want to start getting into my other pools, or right before this actually. Okay, so let's talk about the upper body movement for the breaststroke. Okay, so remember we're streamlined and then we're going to pull roughly at a 45 and then inward at a 45 we're going to marry or come to the preacher and then we're going to push back out 45 45 preacher push back out all right guys so let's mow the upper body motion with the lower body motion for a breaststroke okay remember i'm going to come at a 45 another 45 into the preacher and then if you go down to my legs as i'm pushing up with my hands i'm coming up and out into the frog kick All right, if you come back up you'll see that i'm coming to that streamlined position i'm going to ride that energy out as the motion starts slowing down i'm going to come into another pull to the preacher as i start pushing upwards I'm coming out again with my legs into a frog kick. Ride that motion, that energy out until you start slowing down, okay? From the side, 45, 45, preacher position, frog kick. Ride the energy out, 45, 45, preacher, frog kick, and pushing up at the same time. Ride the energy out. Now let's uh, apply a little bit of this and some practical aspects. If I were you, I would break each one of these techniques down and practice just a little bit. Hold on to the side of, of the pole. And I'm going to kick my legs straight out and be streamlined. So as you can see, my ankles will be straight out, not like this, because this is going to create a lot of drag. Okay. So I'm here. I'm going to start bringing my legs up bending my knees outward and then I'm going to kick just as a frog in roll my ankles outward kick and then as you can see my ankles are rolling as such so I bring everything in I'm preparing to kick flattening my feet out I'm pushing and then I bring my feet together and flatten them out if you remember, the breaststroke is 45, 45, preacher, 
And then as we're pushing up, we're frog kicking with the breaststroke. All right, you have a typical swimmer's breaststroke where the head is coming out of the water, all right? And then we have a very shallow breaststroke where we're barely coming out of the water to breathe, okay? This is more of a tactical breaststroke. So a swimmer's breaststroke is, I'm not gonna kick off the wall, but we're coming here. All right, now I want you to think about going over the beach and there's a moonlight, quite a bit of moonlight and the enemy's sitting in a hood shore patrolling down the beach and they see a bunch of heads bobbing up like that, okay? So that's why we really don't use a breaststroke in the SEAL teams. So the second part of the breaststroke without me coming way out of the water is simply My nose is out of the water. Mouth is in the water. Okay, that's about as tactical as you can get while you're still breathing. All right, so now let's talk about the underwater swim. As far as the lower portion of the body, we're going to incorporate the frog kick still. All right, the upper body, all we're going to do is add one more 45 degree sweeping motion at the end. Okay, so this is our position. We're coming into a 45. We're coming back into a 45. Now this 45 should end roughly about the waist area. And then all we're gonna do is we're going to turn our hands out and give one more thrust at a 45 degree angle. And we're gonna end up in this position. And then as we come back up to the preacher, we're going to frog kick to improve that motion, ride the energy out, once we start slowing down, we come into another pull, 45, 45, roughly around the torso area, rib cage. Turn back out, one more 45 degree push. Come back up as we're pushing out from the preacher. Frog kick, ride it out. So, one more time, 45, All right, roughly right in here. 45, which will end somewhere right in this area. We're going to turn back out 45 degrees and push. Then we're going to bring our hands to the preacher. And then we're going to come into the frog kick. As we're pushing back up, ensure you're squeezing your biceps up against your ears. Ride the motion or energy out. Underwater swim. If you remember, we're going to have three 45 degree angle pulls. Now when I say 45 degree angles, it's a rough guesstimate. So don't get your rollers out and say, oh my gosh, you're not at a 45 degree angle, you suck. All right, use your head guys. So remember, we're here, 45, 45, 45 push, ride that energy out. As you can see, my hands are down by my side right now. When I am about three quarters of a way through that energy, I'm going to come back into the preacher. And that's when I'm gonna come into that kick, that frog kick as I push up, ride that energy out. Okay? All right, ready? talk about the combat side stroke which is the most common stroke that you're going to use not only in training but more than likely in real world okay imagine my entire right side in the water my left side being facing the sky okay you have two options really for your legs that's a flutter kick that's constant or a scissor kick a scissor kick not a frog kick because if I'm in this manner and I frog kick when my foot is going to come out of the water and we don't want that to happen, all right? So as far as the upper body is concerned, remember we're here, the hand that's facing the sky basically, 45, 45, 45, sound familiar? Right? And my right hand, the deeper hand, is going to scoop roughly at a 45, scoop one more time, and then my hands will marry, or preacher, 
and then I push back up, and that's when the scissor kick comes into play, unless I'm flutter kicking. So if I'm trying to cover more distance faster, then we flutter kick. The flutter kicks don't stop. Right? Now what you might see when I'm swimming, instead of my hands marrying perfectly, I'm just giving you that as a reference point, you might see a little lag. Okay, It might look a little something like this. Pull, pull. And it's going to look a little something like that, okay? So I'm just giving you a good baseline to start with, all right? So I'm going to do a flutter kick down, and then I'll do the scissor kick on the way back. We start flutter kicking. We keep the head low, and then we try to keep this shoulder as low as possible as well. So we want to minimize our silhouette to the enemy, and that's why we want to keep everything as low as possible, okay? All right, so now I'm going to scissor kick. Remember, as I'm pushing upward, this is when I scissor kick, okay? Nothing changes. We pull, scissor kick. Push with the hand, scissor kick. Push with the hand, scissor kick. Push with the hand, scissor kick. So the overall goal is to keep momentum. Remember, if you let all of the energy run out and you come to a standstill, it's gonna take a lot more energy for you to get going again. So, and again, I'm just giving you a number, roughly about three quarters of the way through your energy. When you feel it slowing down, this is when we want to incorporate another pull or another push or kick with our feet okay so I'll give you a little tip swimming in the ocean you're gonna be dealing with a lot of waves all right sometimes little waves sometimes five to seven foot waves there are times when the waves are a minute apart there are times when the waves are about that far apart okay so as we're swimming and a wave is coming, the last thing you want to do, once again, if we're trying to infiltrate enemy territory, is lift our head out of the water and ride the wave. So we have to go under the wave. So we're swimming, swimming, swimming. Wave is coming. Oh, here comes the wave. We hold our breath. Let the wave go over. And then we hide our head, our silhouette, behind the waves. So we keep our head really low. Now, sometimes, like I said, these waves can be five to seven feet tall. So if you don't go deep enough, they'll pull you up and throw you. <laughs> so and that's something we don't want, all right? So once again, we're swimming, swimming, swimming. The wave's coming, oh no. Come back up and keep swimming. Now something you have to do in your head is also time the waves. One great thing about God's creation is depending on how the cadence is with the waves, let me rephrase that, there's not breaks in the cadence. So let's say you have two waves here and then a wave here. That usually doesn't happen in the ocean. The waves are spaced out pretty much evenly. Not all the time, but most of the time. So it's important that you um, time these waves as you're going under. So we've had guys, even myself, we come back up for a good fresh breath of air. That next wave is coming over the top of us and you almost drown out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what all this looks like underwater now. <laughs>
right guys that's pretty much it i hope this video really helped you out if your goal is to join special forces in the future or if you're working towards it now i hope god blesses you in your journey um, as you can see there's a proven science that we can work as a baseline but due to injuries and stuff we have to modify that just a little bit don't let that discourage you if you guys like the video please like subscribe share comment and as always have a great day and god bless Thank you.